Good morning. Welcome to the Saturday morning edition of High School Playbook. We call it High School Playbook Replay. We got some great highlights for you this morning. Week two of the postseason here in Kentucky. I'm Kent Taylor. And hello again, everybody. Good morning. I'm Fred Cowgill. We also have Providence in a regional championship game in Indiana, but we kick off right here. Yeah, a playoff showdown between arch rivals St. X and Trinity. And get this, it was on campus. The Rocks hosting this one at Marshall Stadium. What an atmosphere. WQS Britt Del Barba has the game of the week in St. Matthews. A rematch from the regular season. Trinity going for the sweep over their rival St. X in round two of the playoffs. Trinity looking to make it seven in a row hosting St. X. First quarter, the give to Clint Sansbury. The short run to the house, seven nothing rocks. Second quarter, Luke Sazer on the reverse. Gets a big time block and takes it 14 yards into the end zone. Rocks with a 28 nothing lead. Before the break, quarterback Trevor Havel Throws it up for Marlon Harbin. Touchdown. 28-7, Trinity at the half. Third quarter, the Rocks go back to their guy in Sansbury. Go ahead and give him the hat trick. The senior racks up 175 yards and three touchdowns. The Rocks roll to the 38-14 win. Clint's been solid all year. He's played real well. O-line's better. You had two guys uh, up front on the first time we played. That was their first start. And so, again, it, it, I think there are a little bit more seasons as we get here at the end of the year. We just take it week by week. Uh, we come to work every day with the work hats on, and we just keep our head down and grind. Uh, we don't listen to the outside noise. We just stay to ourselves, and we just do us. What I'm most happy about is for our fans. And uh, to get this game here, it's always a little bit special. Uh, it feels great. We knew we were going to sell out. Um, our student body is great. Uh, they always, they're, they're, they're just as important as everyone else. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they got they got our backs no matter what, so yeah, it's a great feeling. The Rocks pick up their seventh straight win and secure home field advantage in round three. Reporting from Marshall Stadium, Britt Albarba, WLKY Sports. Thanks, Britt. So now uh, uh, Trinity hosts McCracken County next Friday night in the next round for a regional championship. Now, Ballard rallied to beat PRP 28-21 last week, and the reward, a trip to Emanuel Stadium for a great game last night. And the Crimson's had won 10 in a row over the Bruins. So did they make it 11? Let's go to Emanuel Stadium. And, well, look at the crowd there. Nice crowd on hand for this one. First half, Crimson's quarterback Eli Creech finds Cameron Jesse for the touchdown. Emanuel up 21-20 at the break. This one goes to not one overtime, to two overtimes in the end. After Manuel had a field goal blocked with one yard to score, Bruins quarterback Larry Irvin trying to sneak it in. Did he get in? Can we get a signal? Yes, it is a touchdown. He gets over the goal line. Ballard wins it 48-42 to in double OT. A 9-3 record for the Bruins. They'll be at home next week hosting a regional title game against Central Harden. So we knew all week that we're a competitor. We, we could win. Everybody doubted us, but we don't pay attention to that. We just we let the scoreboard talk. We don't do all the, no, the social media, all that stuff. We just work. We want to know every day. Want to know every day. That's the, that's the message I practice. All right, next stop, let's head for the sky over Preston Highway. WLKY News Chopper High over Mail High School, where the Bulldogs hosted Fern Creek in a 6A second round matchup last night. First quarter, no score. The Creek was trying to rise to the occasion. Quarterback Caleb Passmore passed some more. The nine yard touchdown pass to Landon Edwards for a 7 0 Tigers lead. A bit of a surprise looking for the upset. Same score, same quarter. Mail right back. Quarterback Coulter Smith to Max Scaney for a great grab. A great balancing act, and that led to a touchdown pass that tied it at seven male. Advances to a 6A regional title game next week with an 11-1 record, hosting Frederick Douglass after a 34-14 win over Fern Creek. All right, defending 6A state champ, Bullities beat Mayo in the championship game last year. On the road, last night in Northern Kentucky at Ryle, Jack Zorneman, their quarterback, goes up the middle for six, but the Chargers were down 28-7, to and Ryle adds to it. They win it 43-20. to The Raiders advance. They've won six in a row. The defending champs are finished. More Friday night flights last night. WLKY News Chopper over Atherton as the surprisingly incredible Ravens. What a super season hosted Butler in a 5A second round matchup. We picked things up in the second quarter. Atherton up by seven when the Ravens did it again. One of the big stars of the show this year, Michael Curry. And look at him go. 40, 60, 80, 98 yards for a touchdown and a 14-0 Atherton lead. Atherton won it 21-0 for an 11-1 record this season to advance to a regional title game for the first time ever where they will host 7-4 Owensboro next Friday night. 
And finally, the IBEW highlight of the night. You saw it once. It's even better now from WLK1 News Chopper. Michael Curry, what can you say about this guy, Ken? I mean, he has had an unbelievable season, as have the Ravens, as they are now in the regional championship round next Friday night after the big win. The final 21-0, an 11-1 record. Whoever would have thought. Amazing run for Anthony White and the Ravens. Back home again, hosting Owensboro next week. Christian Academy, the defending 3A champs. They won big over E-Town last night. Central won big at Mercer County. So those two will face off next week. The Yellow Jackets will be at the Centurions. By the way, we mentioned earlier uh, Providence. They went on the road last night at Indianapolis Lutheran. A 14-7 loss for the Pioneers. So their season ends at 12-1. But what a run for them. Two straight sections championships yes, much so. for a Providence and Spencer County also with an upset at the sales a shocker. last night. A 7-5 and five yeah. record. They're now in a regional final. And Dakota Waldridge, who works with us here, a former Spencer County football star. He's very excited to see his Bears moving on, like Atherton, for the first time ever to this round of the playoffs. All right, busy night of high school football. Plenty of teams still alive playing for those state championships. That will do it for this edition of High School Playbook Replay. We'll see you next time. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.